Yeah. Hi guys, this is Stephanie. Welcome to Stephanie's Journey. For those of you are here for the very first time, welcome. And for those of you returning, welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you how I fertilize. I use fish emulsion. This is the one that I use. It's the um, Just Sensational Track Pride. It's the same as the same stuff as this. I tried this, but I actually like this one better. Everybody uses this one. Ordered this from Amazon. It's linked below. I think both of them may be linked below. But yeah, so if you're interested in seeing how I fertilize, because I have some stuff that's turning yellow that really needs to be fertilized, and I'm going to add some compost. And I've been using mushroom compost instead of cow manure, and I think I really like it better as well. So if you're interested in watching, stick around and stay tuned. I don't know if this has any directions on it, but I use it the same way. I always put, um, does it say? It doesn't really say. 45 ounces per gallon of water. Flowers, houseplants, 4 ounces per gallon of water. Vegetable use, 4 ounces per gallon of water. So 4 ounces is, I don't know, this is 2 gallons. I don't know what 4 ounces is in tablespoons. But I always put four. But I don't think that's enough. Let's look on my thing and see what four ounces is. Four ounces is. Oh, you can't see it because this is what I used to use. I don't know. That's X series. Because I never, I, I never really looked at that. Siri, how many ounces is in the tablespoon? I have an ounce, so I'm putting enough. You're supposed to put four ounces per gallon, so that's eight ounces. One, two, three, four. So eight. So it's a little bit more than what you use for the um, Alaskan, because I think it's two. Let's see. It says two tablespoons per gallon of water for this one. So, dollar for dollar. Actually, this one may be better. But, that's $19 for the gallon. So, And I think the Alaskan brand is way more than that. But, anywho. It used to be 19 I'm not sure if it still is. But anyway, I bought this two gallon one from Amazon, I think. And I'm just going to take you guys and go fertilize. So, stay tuned. Okay, let's go cut that tomato off and then fertilize this bed here. Let's let y'all see this. This um, had one tomato on it, never got another one. And it's leafing and curling up and turning yellow. So I put some mushroom compound in it. It's compound mushroom fertilizer down here. Compost, not compound. Mushroom compost down there. And this is yellow, so I put some down there too. And spray some fish emulsion. This is it's a bell pepper. But I think it is not, I think it is a, a banana pepper. Um, this one says bell pepper too, but nothing has come on it. So I don't know what that one is, but hopefully I have some bell peppers. Because I'm going to be short. If not, I'm going to have to go buy some. But let's finish fertilizing. And I'll let you guys see that. I'm going to put some more 
mushroom compost in that one as well. That's why I just pulled up the garlic. Um, onions are still in there. They're not doing much and they need fertilizer. And I'm going to pull that up. So that's what you guys want to watch me do today. Oh, I want to show you these too. These are pouring so much nutrients out of the soil. And they haven't been fertilized. See how yellow they are? So they need some compost as well. So I'm going to put some compost on all three of these beds. These are yellow. But they are producing. They say serrano. But they look like bell. So I think I've got my tags mixed up. And that one looks more like a bell than a serrano. This is my Roma. I'm going to come in and actually trim that up. That's another one that says serrano. I look more like a bell too. So I'm not for sure what they are. I might put my tags in the wrong place, apparently. So yeah. This has lots of tomatoes on it. As you can see. Lots of aromas back there in the back. Lots of them. Sorry for making that dizzy. I hate when people do that and make me dizzy. But yeah. Lots of tomatoes back there. So I'm going to trim up the bottom leaves on that. So it's chore day. Don't have anything to harvest. Don't know when these things are going to be ready. Never plan it. Oh, I can feel them in the inside. So it's always full of blackjacks. So yeah. Got some yellow and leaves. My nasturtiums are beautiful even though they got um, my brain's not working today. Um, leaf miners. So, yeah. And my first zinnia. Isn't that pretty, y'all? Uh, Last year they were much bigger. But, get what you get. We have more coming here. And, my eggplant has flowers on it. So hopefully we'll get some at one. Let's see, one there, a few there, and then my zinnias all have bulbs, and this eggplant as well it has a flower on it. That's the first flower. I think I'm going to cut the leaves from the bottom of those too. And yeah, I put some more compost in both of these last week. Some mushroom compost. I don't know if I put mushroom or black cow because I had one bag of black cow from last year or maybe earlier this year. So I decided to switch to mushroom compost and I put that in that one and this one because my okra wasn't growing and when I put it in there they started shooting up so they was nutrient deficient. So if you look and your stuff isn't growing, um, add some compost to it. That usually helps it. Um, this was stunning. There was one that grew in the winter with the other ones. But I planted it out late and it, um, too, wasn't growing. So now it's growing. Same with this one. I'm going to give it some fish for the rest of the day, too. So, yeah. I got two beds I need to do something with that I have not done anything with today. So, well, this year, too much bed down there. I planted some ground cherries. They have not come up. I pulled up my garlic. And my, this is my first set of potatoes. They're getting close to an end. This is my second set. They're still there about a month apart almost. Put some ground cherries here. It never came up. This is a random green bean. Don't know what it is. Um, I'm just going to leave it. And I've got my first flowers on my green beans. Got to get them some fertilizers too because they're turning a bit yellow as well. And I also have my first strawberry. I'm trying to see if I Lizard has eaten it because last year, every time I got one, they bit off of it. So far, so good. No bites. It's oddly shape. 
But I'm going to hide it back up under there. Maybe they won't get it. I got lots of flowers and then some growing there a bunch. Didn't get many last year, like one or two on each plant. But this year they're doing a little bit better. So, yeah. Let's go fertilize. Put on time lapse. Come let y'all see. Oh, that's gonna go. Wish I had a compost bin, but I don't. I just compost scraps. So we got that. I'm gonna need another bag. I got another bag in the garage, so I'm gonna go get it. But that is it. And I'll get rid of good water later on today after we let the nutrients from the fish emulsion pop up. Hope it's still recording my voice. It's still green, so. But yeah, I'm gonna save all of those. And that is it for my bed refresh so that I can plant some additional stuff from pulling up my peas. And we're going to get this bed some compost too. So then we can bring that back to life. If not, we're going to dig it up and plant another one because I got one on the porch growing. I always have you some backups just in case. Look at those. They are beautiful. Beautiful. I love these. If you don't grow these strawberry black to tomatoes, they are excellent in salads. And yeah. Black, this black strawberry tomato. This one is a Cherokee purple. Got a, quite a bit of them on here. I got, I think I got a Cherokee some on the porch too. I'm not for sure, but this is my Roma. Get ready to fix that. But anyway, let me flip y'all around. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I look forward to seeing you all in my very next video. Bye bye.